Hey folks, so I bought 20 lots at auction. This particular sale was the liquidation of a local shop or somewhat local shop about a half hour away from here. Uh, the couple is uh, basically getting out of, not quite getting out of the business, but uh, liquidated their store and are just going to do shows and such. But um, yeah, so anyway, this is what I bought. Uh, some shades. Uh, this is a railway lamp shade. This is a barn lamp shade more than likely Although it's extra thin which is kind of odd But uh, so it could be meant for some other specialty lamp and I've got a Medalta lamp here uh, It's actually a little tiny guy. It's a number 28 and uh, I think it's polygon or something. I think they're called just that style uh, Art Deco shade on it Probably the original shade, which is cool. And got some uh, wood shaft golf clubs. Now, not all these are wood shafts. Um, as it turns out, uh, when they were converting to steel shafts, metal shafts, the, uh, they started putting a wood grain on them. So I think several of these are not uh, actually wood shafts which and a bit accordingly um, that one that one isn't that one definitely isn't that one isn't so I only got usually these thinner ones are just covered in a uh, fake wood grain so I got realistically I got two real wood shaft clubs I didn't get any more. One of them is broken, actually, I think, too. Uh, the rest of them are faux wood shafts. So, yeah, they're not actually wood shafts. So, we'll see if they've got any value. Um, the wood shaft ones will. We'll see how much later on. Um, I've got an enamel pitcher. Kind of a neat one, but it's been repaired in spots. Um, paid accordingly, anyway. Didn't pay a whole heck of a lot for it. Um, it's kind of a neat picture. But uh, like I said, it's been repaired and such. And not completed. And a couple angle lamp parts. Uh, got a lower portion there. And uh, the big shade there. Several oil tins. Uh, hopes or hops. And uh, the Watkins machine oil, which is a little different. And then we've got some area histories from Douglas, Manitoba, uh, area of Arizona the municipality, and the Fox's Tale history of Fox Warren and Consolidated School District. And we've got quite a bit more, so we'll continue. And then we've got a Aladdin Alakite electric lamp you can see there uh, with a finial with the matching finial which is usually the hardest part to find and the original shade although the shade is pretty banged up and then a pair of Van Brunt seed drill ends one is damaged however on the right there but uh, they were 10 bucks so I'm not going to complain and let's see we've got a McEwen's beer tray came with an Idlewise beer mirror and that was probably the most expensive thing I bought or almost the most expensive thing I bought uh, at $35 so it's uh, probably an $80 or so mirror maybe a bit more so yeah so I'll make money um, and then a pair of kind of folky frames, picture frames here. These are made of leather on wood. So somebody's curled up all this leather and uh, glued it to two wood frames. So got some age to them. Uh, not terribly attractive, kind of ugly actually <laughs> in a way, but still kind of cool. Um, then uh, some tins and a Pennzoil outboard motor oil bottle. Uh, some Maswati T10 and a fruit saline, fruit saline, fruit saline, uh, Rexall 
cam. I have some compacts, some beaded purses, and some locks for showcases. Um, there were several of them, so I figured, well, I'm probably going to need them at some point for showcases, so pick them up. And a lot of the excess keys I'll just throw in my key bin. Uh, a couple other things that'll just go to the thrift shop there. Um, that'll just go in my junk jewelry bin because it's nothing. It's just a brass necklace. Uh, then some Christie's ice cream cone holders. So Christie's was a biscuit or slash candy slash confectionery company. Um, and of course it still exists I think actually Christie's cookies um, and then a Franklin radio lamp for a bike so that's kind of cool a little different and I think it cost me $25 it's worth about 75 I think 75 to 80 something like that and then a tobacco tin which will probably just go back into another auction somewhere and then next and here we've got a victorian stick and ball shelf unit so it's been painted however uh had a couple slots replaced i think on the bottom by the looks of it but uh yeah still cool neat piece and a little primitive cradle a little doll cradle basically and CPR or CNR CNR uh, gas can I guess or oil can and a Mallory Duracell batteries showcase and let's see some hardware mainly bought them for the bin pulls there's a whole bunch of bin pulls in here as you can see here several of them uh, some odd metal shelves. I'm not sure why I bought those. Um, I thought they would bolt on, but uh, they apparently hook on to something. So, not sure why I bought those now. And a couple toolbox covers from Implements Frosted Wood, a McCormick. Uh, these are, I think, cost me maybe $10 or $15 a piece. Uh, they're good for about $65. Uh, a Coleman pump, a little uh, oil or fuel can of some kind. I don't know if it's anything in particular. Uh, Coleman mantle, a bit of a wick. A little toy doll dresser. Um, it's not what I thought it was. Uh, turns out there's a piece missing down here. There was a decorative piece that's been broken. And the back looks like it had a piece along the top here that's been broken off. So I'm uh, kind of disappointed in that I bought that. I should have noticed that or at least the uh, bottom piece being broken. And paid I think 25 or 30 for that. So yeah, I'll get maybe 45 out of it. Um, or maybe you get my money back out of it. We'll see. And then, last but not least, so this Mennonite Cradle is what I got last. Uh, paid about $65 for it, plus buyer's premium. Original paint, which is the good thing. It does need some cleanup, um, maybe some oiling, but uh, all still original. Still got the porcelain knobs that uh, you tied the kind of a string of rope across um, still original decals and pinstriping and such all original so yeah neat piece probably good for uh, in this state 175 to 250 probably tag it at 250 once I'm done cleaning it up and everything but uh, neat piece uh, spent I think around the four, 460 mark, I think it was, at this auction. So how did I do, guys? Did I do all right, you think, for 460 all that stuff that I got? So where am I at, do you think?
Am I going to make money? <laughs> should make money. It should be just fine. Anyway, that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Take care, folks.